Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So a crypto pop, that's what we're waiting for. Apparently $3 billion in dry powder is what they're calling it, is poised to enter Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency market, says Mazari CEO. Now this is good for everybody, despite what you hold in cryptocurrency. Uh, $3 billion sitting on the sidelines in what they call dry powder is ready to go. So apparently the CEO of blockchain database startup Mazari says there's a huge amount of crypto capital sitting on the sidelines ready to move into Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP and the greater altcoin market. Ryan Selkis cites new data that shows cryptocurrency exchanges are now holding over $3 billion in stable coins on behalf of their customers. And guys, this is the biggest percentage apparently that we've seen in a while. He says these investors are in a strategic position to re-enter the speculative crypto market at a moment's notice. And this is the reason why people hold uh, stable coins because they wanna re-enter. Nobody puts money in a stable coin if they're looking to exit the market. And uh, so he explains that down here. There's now 300 billion plus uh, dollars worth of stable coins sitting on exchanges. If investors wanted to cash out of the crypto market completely, they would have withdrawn funds to their banks. Instead, we've got more dry powder held in the crypto economy than ever before in both real and market cap percentage terms. So guys, here is the uh, pie chart and we can see the stats up here, $3 billion worth of stable coins sitting on exchanges uh, and uh, they are divided out into Binance, Huobi, OKX, Coinbase, Bitfinex, Bittrex and others uh, listed here. So stable coins are the digit and explains what stable coins are for those of you guys who do not know. And then this article also gives you the breakdown of what stable coins are most popular being uh, USDT, of course, Tether being the most popular at 40%. But guys, ultimately what this is suggesting is that this is and, and even it said here this is the this is the most dry powder as they call it we've had on the sidelines than ever before and so people are waiting for a pump to occur guys this is xrp on the weekly uh and uh let me put it on bitcoin for a second this is looking like it's just getting started so we had bitcoin pump last year come back down uh and then this was a bit of a black swan event of course because of the pandemic but now pumping back up bitcoin's uh having is happening in less than a month i believe 23 or 24 days and so people are waiting on the sidelines looking to get into crypto uh, another interesting thing from super hot xrp here saying look at that volume on the xrp chart so look at that volume guys here uh we can see it let me put it back on xrp you can see that volume there wow take take a look at that okay after the decline a huge boost in xrp volume uh which means that uh, you know what this suggests to me is that this level here actually let me put a line there uh for you guys this level here the 14 13 14 cent level that's uh, uh, you, you guys can see that it's it's that it's this green line up here this top green line i was drawing other lines on this chart for another purpose before but this green line here in and around here whether we hit the uh, bottom of that wick okay let's call it the bottom of that wick that uh, represents 0.126 uh, so 12 and a half cents approximately per XRP. That is where demand is very, very strong. Okay, we've got a very, very strong support level. Support and demand obviously being the same thing. And traders are not budging. They are thinking that that is the best deal I'm going to find. And therefore, anything that goes below there, a lot of buy orders. And so a lot of volume, meaning a lot of people buying up XRP. And that's when we saw the price move up from that crash over the last uh let's call it a month okay xrp went from a low of about 0.114 right now trading at 0.192 so a lot of volume yes going down on the sell side but also a lot of volume now buying up xrp so i thought that was interesting and we've got here xrp charts on twitter and uh he's got another opinion on this so let me read you this as a preferred ripple partner the volume on bitstamp is impressive for the xrp odl movement compared to other trading exchanges like bitfinex but so far the volume does not reflect a proportionate increase in xrp price what does this tell you so a lot of people here you know postulating what their thoughts are uh guys i read this thread you guys can go read it if you wish i'm going to just give you what xrp charts says about this 
Uh, so this is his theory here. Price is still speculative driven. Even ODL with this major comparative volume increase makes no difference to price. While it is promising for long-term adoption slash use case slash utility for whoever adopts it, charts and speculation still rules the roost. So ultimately stating that we are still in a spec market and this is just speculative traders. This has nothing to do with any real world utility yet. So guys, we are still at the mercy of course of Bitcoin moving up. And of course, when we do see Bitcoin move up, we will see the rest of the crypto market move up as well with it. That is just my humble opinion. MHO as the kids write it on Twitter, Twitter. Guys, I saw this. So the beer flu pandemic spurs crypto law updates in J5 countries. So there are cyber criminals taking full advantage of the pandemic, which has forced life into a digital realm by leveraging increased fear and uncertainty to steal money and launder it through the complex cryptocurrency ecosystem, basically stating that uh, a lot more cyber crime has been occurring since uh, everybody's been locked inside. But the J5 countries are stepping up. The J5 also has been updating its anti-money laundering and combating the financing of terrorism laws for cryptocurrency in accordance with the Financial Action Task Force standards with Australian researchers having linked half of all yearly transactions in the $250 billion Bitcoin market to illegal activity, according to a new report. Uh, so the J5 Countries is a multi-agency coalition that includes government agencies from Australia, Canada, the Netherlands, the UK, and the United States. It was formed in mid-2018 by the US Internal Revenue Service in response to a call to action from Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development for countries to do more to tackle uh, the enablers of cross-border tax and related crime by those individuals who have access to resources and professional enablers as well as by organized crime groups. So they're really cracking down. Essentially, this is just stating they are cracking down on this, the uh, J5 countries. So again, Canada, Australia, the Netherlands, the UK, and the United States. Guys, I'll leave this article in the description if you want to read further. Uh, lots going on. And uh, so I saw this from James Melpass. People seem to think the XRP community has died. Yeah. Remember that article that I did a video about yesterday with a 60, there's a 63% decline in the XRP community. Well, James Malpass has an opinion on this too. So people seem to think the XRP community has died. Let's show them that we are here strong as ever and united as ever. If you are part of the XRP community, like and retweet this and let's round up the XRP family. So let's do that, guys. Let's retweet. Of course, it is important to show our strength and support and to, you know, battle the FUD, especially when people want to take down certain crypto... I can't even believe that this is still happening. Uh, what do they have to gain? Seriously, what do they have to gain? Uh, the entire crypto community is going to benefit from a Bitcoin bull run. Let's just call it what it is. When Bitcoin rallies, the rest of the cryptos will rally along with it. Bitcoin will be that leading indicator, at least it was in the last bull run, and we will see other cryptos follow as well. So thanks, James, for uh, posting that. I also saw this from Michael Pinky. So again, just updating you guys uh, from a story I did on yesterday's video. Help me get rid of these idiots on eToro. It's disgusting, those lies and fake news they publish. If XRP bashing on Twitter seems bad, you've never been on eToro. I didn't realize eToro was so negative on XRP. You guys remember this video I did yesterday? More than half of eToro's global user base is invested in XRP. So we've got 54.5% of XRP users on eToro. And apparently Michael I Pinky 7 is stating that there's a lot of XRP bashing. Uh, again, I don't use eToro, so I'm not familiar with all this. But if uh, any of you guys have any insight on this, please do mention it in the comments. I'd like to know a little bit more about this. So thanks so much, James Melpass and uh, Michael I Pinky 7 for posting these tweets. We've also got this on Twitter from John Luciano at Lucky John underscore XRP. Uh, this is interesting, and uh, I love this GIF with Will, Will Ferrell here. But this tweet essentially retweeting the IMF's tweet. Since the Great Depression, this is the first time both advanced economies and emerging economies and developing economies are in a recession. Growth in AEs is projected at minus 6.1% and EMDEs negative 1%. For more details, uh, read the IMF's blog. So some people here on the conspiratorial end of things suggesting that this is uh, all coordinated and this is by design. Uh, we got Shane Ellis at PBuzzXR on Twitter. All by design to safely crash the global financial system. The new digital system is ready. How much more pain before it goes live? So it is very interesting that this is the first time we have seen something like this in our lifetimes. Actually, ever, it seems. I mean, this pandemic really has taken its toll on the world. I feel like 
there needed to be something this big if this is uh, okay, let's consider that the conspiracy theory is true uh, for a second here. There would need to be something this large in order to crash economies simultaneously. Uh, this doesn't happen by happenstance. And with the world on lockdown, uh, what better time to reignite, to reset the world financial system? So thought this was interesting. Thanks so much, Lucky John, uh, for posting that. And guys, you'll never guess who believes XRP is the standard. Digital Asset Buy on Twitter here, reposting this info from io23 underscore c. More things that make you go, hmm. Very, very, very interesting. Did you guys see this tweet here? So this is Judy Shelton, monetary economist, author of Money Meltdown, Restoring Order to the Global Currency System. Now it looks as though io23 underscore c did a little bit of research here and uh, posted this. So this is a screen grab from Judy Shelton's likes on Twitter, and she liked this tweet from the Ripple Wrestling Investor, which I think is a great name, by the way, XRP the Standard. Now, guys, Judy Shelton is an American economic advisor to President Donald Trump. She is known for her advocacy for a return to the gold standard and for her criticisms of the Federal Reserve. Trump announced on July 2nd, 2019, that he would nominate Shelton to the Fed, and her nomination is currently pending in the Senate. This was the most up-to-date information I got from Wikipedia here. Interesting to see that Judy Shelton is in fact agreeing, and so I had to go to her Twitter. Of course, I always like to check this out myself, and sure enough, under her likes, she has liked the Ripple Wrestling Investors tweet here. XRP the standard, it is a GIF. Uh, for those of you guys who haven't seen it, one of these fun animations with XRP. Really, really interesting to connect those dots. Uh, some people suggesting maybe it was just a mistake. Maybe she uh, clicked like by accident. I don't know. You think it was a mistake, guys? I, I guess it could be. Tell me what you think in the comments section. And of course, the Ripple Wrestling investor saying, Oh my God, did the real Judy Shelton just like my tweet that I posted? <laughs> That's hilarious. Kevin McAllister from Home Alone, one of my favorite childhood movies. Amazing brother, thank you so much for tweeting that out. Guys, one last thing here from XRP Crypto Wolf on Twitter. The XRP community should be very proud of their XRP investment, especially considering that it's over 90% down from its all-time high price, and yet so many people still strongly believe in its true potential. Life is 10% of what happens and 90% of how you react to it. So guys, please do show your support. I will link James Malpass's tweet in the description. Retweet and like. If you agree, the XRP community is as strong as ever. Stay safe out there, my friends. Enjoy your Sunday. And uh, yeah, I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.